Well, it's estimated uh, that about 200 billion pounds of investments uh, will have to go into the energy sector. And that is not just new power stations, but the whole energy infrastructure. So that's a huge opportunity for industry to not just invest into a transition into a low carbon economy, but more importantly, to provide growth, which is needed in the current environment. So for NPower, that's a big opportunity. We have just invested in the last three years three and a half billion pounds into new, more efficient plants and indeed uh, into renewables, which is about 60% of the total investment we have made. I think for Shell, the low carbon transition offers a number of opportunities, but I'd really highlight three. The first one is about gas replacing coal. Uh, basically, that allows for a 50% reduction in emissions compared with uh, coal emissions. The second one is about CCS and carbon capture and storage. So that's all about decarbonizing the fossil fuel power sector uh, completely. Uh, and the last one is about biofuels. We still need liquids in transportation and biofuels provides a great opportunity to decarbonize those liquids. So low carbon transition is going to happen. It's not an option. It's a will do, must do around the world. And it will require smart, smart everything. Smart networks, smart energy, smart education, smart public services. It will involve all the technologies, all the capabilities to make it smarter. Using ICT in smart everything is going to be a necessity, which is for our industry a unique opportunity. It is not just the networks, it's the applications. It's the smartness in doing things different, doing things together with the consumers. One of the things that we have to learn better than what we did in the past is to include the consumers from day one. They ultimately will decide whether we will become a green society or not. We give them the tools, they have the choice. I think low carbon transition provides a huge number of opportunities for the chemical industry particularly. Uh, we're the provider of a lot of the building products for the green economy, for the new green economy. Uh, from mater materials of construction, lightweight materials, uh, we produce the building blocks, for instance, for carbon fibre that, say, the new Boeing Dreamliner is using. Uh, right the way through to biofuels, where uh, we've got huge opportunities in that area as well.